Hi everybody. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome to Mastering Energetics for Aligned Success in Life and Business. Let me know as you're jumping on and joining us so that I can say hello. And of course, if you're catching the replay, then do hashtag replay and I can pop back and say hello to you as well. My name is Louisa Havers and I help entrepreneurs and coaches to break through their upper limits in life and business. And I train coaches, mentors and healers in mastering the energetics for higher transformation and being able to channel the Akashic Records as well. So I'm very lucky and I feel very blessed to get to do what I what I do. I love everything about the energetics and we dive into the energetics within the helix method the the methodology that we teach in our certification program and we use energy uh, working with the energetics in, in all our programs and the helix method our energetic certification program is um is for you if you love if you love all things to do with energy if you love human design gene keys psych k eft eam kinesiology belief coding pranic healing theta healing akashic records then you know, if you, you love all of those things, then I know you'll love the Helix Method as well. What we what we do is we blend Eastern principles, psychology, and really amplify your spirituality for your aligned success. And what I wanted to dive in today was to give you some tips from a five elements perspective for alignment in your life and business. Does that sound good? This is going to be an absolute game changer for you because your business shows up in your in your body. So let's consider what is going on energetically and through the perspective of the five elements. So this is five key energy flows in Chinese philosophy of wood, fire, earth, metal and water. And we are, we you know, we flow between these five energies and literally everything in life travels through these five phases and represents our entire life experience. So just to give you a, a bit of an overview, um, the energy of wood is about growth new beginnings it's the start and the catalyst of all the things that are to come then we have the energy of fire that's about expansion it's about being in full flow and we have the energy of earth that's all about support grounding stability and the transformation from one thing into another then we have the energy of metal that's all about letting go of things that no longer uh, no longer serve you no longer needed about decline and then we have water energy so this is about things collapsing when something is at the bottom of its journey and it's ready to ready to return again so that's a very high level for you and these five elements can describe all sorts of things from seasons pregnancy stages different parts of our bodies our emotions food different parts of our business cycles as well and everything can be categorized into these different energies. So I'm going to invite you today to think about how these energies might be affecting you. And if you want to go deeper and have a private one-to-one -one with me, we can dive into this together and transform your energetic vibration. So then just, just reach out to me. Alrighty, so let's dive in. So wood, your wood energy affects your liver meridian and your gallbladder meridian. And the thing to know here is that the gallbladder rules decisions and making choices. And so any restriction energetically here can cause indecision. So if we're feeling really indecisive here, it's thinking, have I got any stagnation in my, in my gallbladder meridian? The liver absorbs what can't be digested and controls the immune system and the body's immune responses and enact on a cellular level. And this is where distinguishing yourself from others. And so wood defines and protects our personal boundaries and boundaries is a big thing for entrepreneurs let me know in the comments if this is something that you are working with in relation to your boundaries and particularly becomes more and more important and more and more obvious about where boundaries perhaps need a little bit shoring up as your business grows from those that six figure mark multi six figure mark seven figure mark and, and beyond so i invite you to think okay what's been brought to my self-awareness this week is there anything anywhere that I'm feeling hesitant about starting a new project are you in that space of planning extensively but then actually having trouble about getting down to to work are you feeling disconnected and lacking in a vision or perhaps having trouble with personal boundaries or feeling really really indecisive 
If this is resonating for you, then I'm inviting you to look at your gallbladder and your liver meridian and through the wood element. Let me know what resonates for you. Okay, so then we have fire. So this is where thinking about your heart, the heart gives love and receives love by allowing others in. And our heart is the organ that is associated with fire energy. So think of you know the energy of fire. It's all about expansion, connection. It's about being in full flow and manifesting the full potential. And on a cosmological level, the fire phase, think of it like the expansion of the universe that occurred after the Big Bang. This, this expansion is is typical of, of fire energy. And the heart is our most vulnerable organ. It's, we need it to be open in order to receive what it needs. Yet, of course, when we have our heart open, we're vulnerable. And this can create resistance to receiving and accepting love. So energetically, to consider what resistance might be here in the heart that is impacting business. And the fire element, so it manifests along the meridians of the heart, the small intestine, the heart protector and the triple heater. So just to, to dive into these a little bit more for you. So the small intestine meridian, that separates the pure from the impure. And so on a psychological level, it separates true thoughts from untrue thoughts and, and beliefs. So resistance here can show up as an inability to trust your own judgment. And then the heart protector meridian acts as a filter for our psychic input and keeping keeps us from being overwhelmed. So any any boundary issues of where we begin and end can come from resistance in the heart protector meridian. So just notice as I'm sharing these, if you're feeling this in your body and where you're feeling this in your body, the triple heater meridian governs these psychic abilities that are outside of you and the ability to predict and make intuitive business decisions and it the triple heater corresponds to connective tissue which wraps around every organ of your body and conducts bioelectricity chi and so any resistance in your triple he heater can impact the speed of your manifesting so this is one to really pay attention if you're like why hasn't that it happened yet what is going on in your triple heater energetically? And so resistance in these areas may be, just to give you some insights so that you can see if this resonates for you. So they may be showing up for you in your business if this resonates. So are you beginning lots and lots of different projects and then abandoning them, abandoning them halfway through? Are you unable to concentrate for long periods of time? Perhaps you're feeling disconnected from the world and just not getting things done or does this resonate do you trust people before they've proven themselves to be trustworthy they haven't earned your trust or do you have trouble with your personal boundaries and also one to pay attention to is are you feeling like your business has hit a plateau and this can come through what is bubbling up for you within the fire energy do you have resistance to receiving more Logically, we always want to say no. But energetically, there can be a whole load more stuff going on. OK, so then we have earth energy and the earth of the energy of the earth reflects the whole cycle of the elements. So earth attributes can be understood as it's wood, fire, earth, metal and water aspects. So earth's wood sets boundaries that contain and define activities like processes and events Earth's fire balances opposing forces like yin and yang and the management of these opposing forces. Earth's earth, a bit of a mouthful, accumulates by collecting resources that can be stored and then used at, used at the appropriate time. I'm very earthy. I'm a great accumulator. My, my nickname as a, as a kid was, was squirrel. That says it all. <laughs> and money is also an earth element that shows Earth's accumulative nature. So gold itself is governed by by metal just to speak to that one for 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 a moment other than that earth element money is is an earth element that shows earth's accumulative nature let me know what's resonating for you and our exchanges of money just to touch on that involve the same gathering and giving that we apply to every other resource including nutrients. Earth's metal nurtures. So many people 
nurture their business, especially at the beginning when many resources are put in. But then, of course, there's no guarantee of the return. This is true nurturing where we're just not expecting anything in return. Then Earth's water allows. So water within Earth creates space within boundaries. So the totality of Earth's containing, balancing, accumulating, nurturing, allowing properties is, is more than the, the sum of its parts. So think of Earth as the foundation of life. And the Earth element manifests in the body through the organs and the meridians of the spleen, so it's a yin, yin organ, and the stomach, which is yang. And so the spleen and the stomach organs govern all of Earth's functions of bonding, nurturing, grounding, and, and all the things. And the spleen houses thought and governs the quality of thought, the clarity of concentration, the ability to do mental work, to memorize things. These are all functions of the of the spleen. And if earth is deficient, you it may manifest like this where you might be feeling overwhelmed, having poor concentration, being too tired or too busy to take the time to be creative. You might be feeling that you lack imagination or talent or energy. That might be how it's showing up for you. So you can consider that this is a deficiency of Earth's nurturing and generous uh, allowing energy. And then the flip side is if Earth is in excess, you might find yourself worrying, taking care of others at your expense, having pure con uh, poor concentration, muddled thinking. You might feel like you've just got too much clutter going on. So a great way to have a quick pulse check is to look at your desk. What's your desk face looking like right now? And uh, resistance in these areas might be showing up for you like this in your business. So you can use this as a little bit of a, a, a pulse check. Are you over caring for others and not taking care of yourself in your business? Are you worrying, which is preventing you from growing naturally in your business? Are you gathering clutter in your business or in your office? What's the office looking like? And are you allowing yourself to receive money for sharing your time, your wisdom, your expertise, your gifts in, in, in the world? We'd love to see how this is, it, this is landing for you. So let me know in the comments. And of course, if you're catching the replay, let me know what resonates for you. Then we have metal. So metal in the five element cycle is significant signaling the process of refinement and finishing things off. So we can see where things are out of alignment and if metal energy has got a, got a part to play with this. If you're in that space of resisting completing a project or perhaps you're judging or punishing yourself or others for wherever you're at in your business or perhaps you're repeating the same destructive patterns of behavior over and over again. And metal is associated with grief. You know, this is the act of letting go. So are you resisting letting go? What do you need to release and to let go of in your business so you can evolve and move on to the next phase? So where we learn from our challenges, we're growing stronger, we can move in flow with metal. So that makes sense. And then within our body, metal manifests as the organs and the meridians of the lung. So that's a yin energy. And then the large intestine, that's yang. And these organs govern metals fa functions of releasing, resolving, purifying. And if you're resisting letting go or situations or attitudes that you may have resistance in your large intestine, which, you know, which rules elimination. And if you're resisting trusting your instinct, you may have resistance in your lung meridian, which helps you with that, with discernment, distinctions and choices. Does that make sense? So some food for thought there, you can see what's bubbling up for you. And then we have water. So in the yin-yang cycle, water represents absolute yin, complete rest, receptivity. And water is dreaming, is a watery phenomenon is, and is linked with, with sleep. And our, our dreams take us out of our day-to-day -day world into that universal mind. And water is a source of creativity and new ideas. So you can think of it, it marking the end of projects when you have time to step back, reflect on all the things that you've done, and to also, on an emotional level, water governs our inner strength. So, and this, of course, is key for our resilience in, in business. We all need to have emotional resilience in, in business. And the negative side of water is, is fear that can bubble up. So where we 
doubt our strengths, feel alone, unconnected or vulnerable to, to chaos. Often the fear emerges when we feel ourselves, of course, expanding our comfort zone and stepping out into the unknown, the things that aren't, aren't certain. So in the water phase, we consider our own inner knowledge, consider your dreams, your emotions and all the things that are uniquely experienced by yourself from that perspective and to think about from a, from a water perspective water governs who you are and is crucial to your connections with others so how are your connections with others and then within that in the body water manifests in the body is the organs and the meridians of the kidney that's yin energy and the bladder yang energy and the kidney stores essence or yin and are the sources of water's infinite creativity so it carries the body's inherited characteristics including your genes karma physical and sexual development there's so much that you can do as you're diving in to find out what's going on in your body how it's showing up and then how you're attracting things into your life through through your business showing up in your body so the kidney and the bladder meridians manifest the water element along the surface of the body so ways you can sort of flush out to see what is how this may be affecting you is to think about are you feeling wired nervous restless perhaps you're feeling not able to relax and to receive creative ideas for your business the water may be out of balance perhaps you're feeling that you can't follow through on an idea so you're having loads of ideas but then just not enough energy to process them or to implement them or the flip side you might be too busy spending so much time reflecting and going within or tending to your obligations first before you're taking care of yourself and and your inner world and you also hold kidney essence from sexual partners that can be impacting your business as well that one always surprises everybody it's just like something that they didn't think about it's like what that is really one to, to pay attention to and have you got any resistance to receiving I'd love to know what resonated for you, where you were feeling this in your body as I was sharing these insights for you. We, we teach you how to identify what is going on for you and your clients energetically in the Helix Method and how to transmute and clear any energies that are holding you back really clear, fast, you know, so you can bring yourself into alignment in, in all areas of, of life. And we've got incredible, powerful protocols and techniques to guide you guide you through this you will literally be another version of yourself when you've finished so if this is speaking to you for those of you that would like to master energetics and to have aligned success in life and business I do have a number of services available for you we have got group programs masterclasses masterminds private mentorship of you know of course all of these are different experiences with different types of support and proximity to me they are all life-changing in, in different ways so my invitation to you is to come and join us if it feels aligned we would love to have you with us take radical responsibility for how you're showing up in your in your containers your contributions to the group how you're applying how you are receiving your results and creating your results because they are your results and for me I was reflecting on this as I was thinking about all the different coaching programs I've been in the masterminds the different containers that I've stepped into that the lifetime value has just been huge every coaching container I've stepped into the value of it and the results I create last well beyond the, the, the time of the container. And I show up in my containers in a way that I want my clients to show up for themselves as well in that, you know, I, I claim what I have come in to, to receive. I'm open-minded. I welcome the accountability. I build relationships. I can think about how can I help others who do I know here that I can introduce to, to others that so really treasure the relationships that we build in, in my, the containers that I'm in and in my communities as well. I know that's one of the, the, the things my clients always say is they just adore all the people that they are in the containers with. And uh, so I just think it's really important to recognize when you're considering working with a coach is to think about how can I be a great client and how can I show up in the container so that I get the result that I desire? Does that make sense? And I just think it's priceless being in spaces where everyone is growing towards the same goal. And, you know, of course, having people that are further ahead on the journey than you that completely expands you, but just being in that in that arena and having those types of conversations. So anyway, it's time to pop your CEO hat on and to choose the investment that's going to support you 
your growth and your and your business's growth. So when you reach out, we'll we just have a chat in DM just to make sure it's fit for you. Then I share the invitation with you. It has everything that you need so you can make a decision. It's all laid out in a Google Doc for you. So you just take it, you read it in your own energy. You can make the decision in your own space. If you've got any questions, you just pop back and ask a question and then you just circle back in the next day or so and just let me know if you're in or out or um, have a question and then we go from there and it's just nice and simple. So is this for you? We've got the Wealth Portal. So the Wealth Portal is for ambitious entrepreneurs and coaches who are ready to break through their upper income limit and manifest 10 times the money and success that they're currently making today. We are expanding your money consciousness and mastering the energetics in relation to, to your money, money story. And then we have the Infinite Prosperity Collective. This is for coaches, healers and mentors who will create 10 to 50K plus months like clockwork. You're selling your offers, your 3K, 10K offers in alignment with your energetic blueprint. So this is our spiritual business mastermind. And then we have, which I've been talking a lot about recently, our certification program. So are you ready to be an extraordinary coach and top level your skills with our certification program? So we've got two offerings for you here. We've got the Helix Method certification program. So this is for high integrity coaches, mentors and psychics who are ready to incorporate an energetic methodology for rapid transformation into their business you'll have a complete toolkit and frameworks and programs that you can use in your business with with clients within the next 60 days or less without having to spend hours and hours writing up case studies or writing a you know writing a thesis and then we have our akashic records consultant certification this is where you are learning to channel higher levels of consciousness and divine guidance and you empower yourself with the deepest level of healing and, and wisdom that is available to you so this is where you'll learn how to read your own akashic records and access the akashic records of others with the soul journeys method so those are our programs that we have for you and our certification programs and if you are being called to work with me privately i have got a couple of spots available for my 30 days akashic records boxer coaching that's really popular so if you want channel guidance for a month that one may be for you you have my life, life between life review so that you can have clarity on your soul journey in this lifetime. And what's also really popular is my year long mentoring containers as well. So we can have a chat about what kind of support and mentoring you're looking for and create a package that's um, bespoke for you. Alrighty, that is everything. I cannot wait to hear your takeaway from how your business is showing up in your body and where you may be identifying that where some of the congestion might be revealing itself right now. So let me know your takeaway. Love to know what's landed for you. And I will speak to you very soon. Take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.